Oil Daily Forecast, January 23rd, FXEmpire.com. The oil markets fell hard on Friday, as you can see on this daily chart here, as the fears of an Iranian um, blockade of the Straits of Hormuz are starting to subside a little bit. It does appear that the Europeans are maybe backing down a little bit, and there's also talk of a couple random things. Uh, perhaps the White House is trying to talk to them directly, etc., etc., and then adding to that, uh, the Chinese PMI numbers overnight came out fairly weak, as well as there's uh, signs that the oil uh, reserves in Cushing, uh, which is where the light sweet crude contract is stored in North America, Cushing, Oklahoma, are being built up. Uh, this will continue to add to some growing supply in North America. With the fall of the markets on Friday, it does show that the market is starting to give way. And as you can see by this chart, it looks like the $98 mark actually is starting to hold some significance. Because of that, we are willing to take a break of the 98. We are not willing to buy anymore, only because uh, there's so much noise above. If we get a bounce, we could very easily go back to 102, and, and we do see this. But with this type of market, it is starting to get fairly noisy. Also, uh, you have to wonder whether or not we're going to come back and perhaps uh, retest the 95-ish, 94 level, and a break of the 98 does suggest that that's exactly what will happen. We are also suggesting that you have two contracts, assuming you're doing futures, and assuming that you can trade in that uh, kind of size, and the reason for that is that once we reach the, and we will call it 95 level, once we reach the 95 level, we're wanting to get rid of half take profit, move stops to break even. This allows us to see a potential move down to 90, which we think will be support, and possibly even lower. If we break through 90, the floor is going to fall out, and we'll see 80, uh, 85, and then of course 80. Oil is a very technical market, so uh, it does tend to stop every $5, and if you look at the chart, that, that's generally the case historically throughout time, really. So having said that, we are wanting to take the two positions and uh, if you have the ability to trade CFDs you know of course you can do it in other units but if you are trading futures contracts be aware you have to trade two actual contracts and of course take half off at 95 and take the other half off uh, just based upon price action below we do suspect 90 will produce some type of bounce this of course is signal uh, on a break uh, below 98 on at least a reasonable time frame, perhaps the four hour chart or even a daily close uh, would probably be prudent. Oil is going to be very volatile, but it does appear that the lack of demand is starting to catch up with the market.